Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX. Welcome to your home for Good Clean Gaming. I'm dedicated to bringing you great games that are free of the profanity, nudity, and sexuality that are so common in today's games, and creating a safe space for gamers of all ages to enjoy great video games. If that sounds good to you, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. With that, let's begin today's video. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here. Today we are back in Star Citizen. Today I am back to mining. I've still got my uh, Hofstede uh, mining laser on, and I'm going to try mining out here at Miguel 1B. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff out of uh, out of the Microtech area recently, uh, simply because that's where uh, that's where a lot of the events that I've been taking place with taking place in have been um, and so I'm gonna see what sort of mining we can do today out here at Mega 1B this one looks actually like it could be potentially kind of profitable agresium and copper so potentially um, this one's rather small though so it should be a relatively easy crack um, it's only f only five thousand mass, so something like that. That's that's chump change. Um, we'll give it a shot. Oh, hang on, that's not right. Definitely having a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of server line here. There we go. Alright. We'll go ahead and take a look at these then and see what we get out of these, if there's really anything worth taking or not. 100% copper, we'll pass on that one. That's very, very low value. Maybe we'll got we'll get lucky and this is some agresium. That's 100% agresium. That one might be worth be taking, actually. Might be, might be worth taking. Now, I did go out, and uh, in between now and our last video, um, I got my ship outfitted with a couple of the saddlebags, or four of the saddlebags. There we go. We'll go ahead and take that as well. Uh, four of the saddlebags from the Argo Moles. Um, and so those are significantly larger. Um, they are 12 SCU instead of 8 SCU. And so I can now haul 48 SCU, uh, as you can see down here, 48 SCU. I can now haul, haul 4 SCU of cargo home, 48, sorry, in my, in my prospector. So. Um, if you have a prospector, it's uh, it's well worth the time to do that, um, and the, and the initial cost took me about uh, twenty thousand or so um, to you know go get the the salvage mission. Um, but once you've got that twenty thousand, as long as you don't, uh, as long as you've got the, the saddlebags, once you've got that, and uh, as long as you don't claim your ship. You will have those saddlebags indefinitely you know, until you until you have to claim it. Um, so, um, if you're if you're looking for a pretty quick and easy upgrade, especially if this if you're watching this video in 319.1, um, it's going to be a little bit easier even again to. Oh, this one could be fun. What do we got here? Gold, Hephaestonite, and quartz. Okay, so I am going to give this one a shot. It does say it's impossible, and it's probably going to be, but we're going to give it a shot anyway, because with that much gold, it's got a resistance of 13% and an instability of 3 and change. Oof. 
probably not going to be able to crack this one, no matter what I do. I'm going to go ahead and we'll power all the way up here. Just see if we can get any sort of movement out of this one. I think... This one's probably going to be... There's a little bit of movement there. Just to see, just to see if it'll do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll try that. Um, go ahead and get out of here and put the uh, put this gadget on here because that's enough gold at at 25% um, of 31,000 mass is enough that I'm interested in at least trying that. Otherwise, we'd be needing a needing a mole or perhaps a uh, an impact head or something. Not an impact, sorry, a uh, a helix head for that. Um, so let's go ahead and pull out. There we go. All right, unmineable deposit. Place. There we go. All right. So go ahead and analyze this. Okay, so, ooh, this one's actually pretty good um, as far as that goes. Does this one say detach? 83%, okay. Okay, so we definitely need to keep that one at zero. Eight, eighty-nine, nine. 89, there we go, 90%, 91, that one appears to be about as good as we're going to get, I'm going to go ahead and we'll hit activate on that one, there we go, and we'll go ahead and get back in our ship here and just see if we can do anything with this, you know, if we can't, it's just a case of uh, popping back in, or popping back out, I guess, and getting our getting our gadget. But if we can get this, that is a lot of money in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we'll give it a shot. And our engine's back on. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and hit this again. Oh, and zoom in. Power to max. Just kind of move around here and just see. Any sort of movement. Go this way. Probably, probably just an instability. 
Let me jump. Okay. It's not getting anything with that. I'm going to go ahead and we'll get out of here again. And I'm going to try putting my surge module on there. And that's going to be a little bit trickier because oops, you know what? i got to get back in here and unlock my ports on this one. Because it's going to decrease our window. It's going to unlock those with right alt K. It's going to make it a little harder um, to hit that, hit that green window without Without overcharging it. All right. Go ahead and unlock those or lock those ports again. And we'll put this one up. There we go. All right. Now we're all the way to max. Right up close on this one. And here we go. anything out of it. Does not look like it. Alright, so we've got no movement on this one. Just gonna be too big. Okay, so I think... We've gone ahead and found one that I'm going to go ahead and crack. So we've got some barrel. Uh, we've got some copper. Barrel's actually a 28,000 uh, per SCU refined. So it's not incredible, but it is a little something. Um, we've got copper over here. That's, that's essentially worthless. Uh, but we also have one over here that's got uh, laranite. Which is about a 38,000 38, um, per SCU. And we've got a Terranite and a Grecium. And Terranite is actually one of the top three. That's worth about 78. Actually, it's 78.4. Uh, 78 78.4 Alpha UEC per unit. Uh, per per S, micro SCU. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to give this one a try um, and activate my mining laser here and we'll go ahead and crank laser power all the way up to the top here and we're actually getting a little bit of movement right off the bat here so I'm pleasantly surprised by that um, I was kind of thinking that this one was going to be actually impossible like it's saying but it's actually going pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw I'm gonna throw some surge module into here. And we'll see if we can get this pumped up a ways. Just see there we go. Yes. and Terranite. There we go. There was a nice little jump. So a little persistence and uh, a little try hard. And some of these impossible racks rocks are actually quite possible to crack. Got to be careful. You don't want to uh, too, too crazy with it. There we go. Okay, so we are in the optimal zone. There we go. So I'm just going to hold this here as much as possible. There we go. 
go. Just kind of wiggle this back. back way out here because I don't want to risk this thing going off and, and exploding in our face perfect so we do have that one now broken out we're going to take a look at this one because this could be a very big payday a Grecium and Terranite we're going to pass on that one for right now um, because it's not got um, not got a whole lot, a lot of Terranite This one's a Grusium and Terranite. That one's worth another crack. So we'll definitely take a look at that one. That one is a Grusium and Terranite. Definitely going to take another crack at that one. Pretty big optimal window. Copper... Upper and Terranite. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely going to crack that one. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and we'll hit that one. That is a massive window there. Go ahead and put a little laser power on this one. And we are not even going to need 100% on this one. Just a little bit. It's going to be just fine. Get this up into the green zone. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and min power all the way back. I'm just cooking along on min power here. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Back up just a little bit here. As this cracks. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we'll go ahead and see. Maybe we'll get a, a rock that's 100% Terranite here. 82%. We'll take that. We'll take that. Go ahead and scan this one here and we'll see else we can get out of this one and that's the nice thing about this now that yeah another 50 percent terranite there and that's the nice thing with you know because we're not mining titanium we don't have to worry about it blowing up before you know before we get back to the refining facility and so because of that uh zero is that a 0 0.28 0 0.28 we're not going to bother with that one it's mostly copper and inert materials. So uh, we'll take another crack at that one. That one's also a Terranite. That one's going to say medium difficulty. Mode on. Ooh, that is a tiny little window there. Well, we'll try the other two here. There we go. So I have found that sometimes you hit it the first time and it just it doesn't react properly like it should. But you hit it again the second time and for some reason it works. Let's make just a little bit. A little bit more power just to get up into the green zone there. Alright, so that's got that one cracked. We'll go ahead and take a look at this one here and see perhaps this one will have the same same response. Power into it and we actually get some movement. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. 
We've had that happen a few times where... It just doesn't want to work properly the first time around. Then as soon as you try it the second time, it works properly. There we go, perfect. So we've got another good break there. I'm going to go ahead and we'll analyze each of these and uh, see, about, uh, see about picking them up. Okay, so that's got all of these analyzed. I'm going to go ahead and we'll start the hoovering process here. This one's got uh, mostly Grecium and Terranite. Um, I'm going to try and target the ones that are primarily Terranite and Grecium. This one's actually got a decent percentage of each. Uh, you know, 53 and 44 of Grecium and uh, or Terranite and Grecium. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll take that one. Uh, that one's mostly grecium and copper. So I'm going to kind of bounce around these and see grecium, terranite, mostly copper on that one as well. Um, there we go. There's a good one, actually. That one's got 65% uh, so terranite, so we'll go ahead and take that one. 14, almost caught. There we go, 15%. So that's a, uh, or 50, 15 SCU, sorry. So that would be a, a half a hold. On a on a standard prospector. Okay, so I've missed one with the scan here. Let's see. Hopefully this one will be. That one's a hundred percent of grecium. Uh, see what else we've got. Terranite's kind of low on that one. Basically looking now to get terranite over forty percent. Terranite 20, 21, okay, so there's nothing with Terranite that large now, uh, oh, 38, perfect, we'll go ahead and grab that one then, and now we're looking at like 20% or so, 15, that's 30, 38 and change, so we'll go ahead and grab that one as well. And we've got just a little bit of room left, so... Grecium, Terranite. Basically want to get anything now 20% or higher. Five. Turn on twenty-one. Perfect. We'll go ahead and take that. And there we go. Full cargo hold. So, with that, uh, we've got. Uh, let's see here. We've got nineteen agrisium, eighteen terranite, and ten copper. I'm going to go ahead and we'll fold this away and take it back to Miko One. And because we were out here at uh, at Miko One B, we really didn't have. I didn't see a single contact the whole time. Um, there's really not a whole lot of reason to come out here, uh, unless you're going to Jericho Station. And there's not really a whole lot of reason to do that unless you've got uh, unless you've got Xenothreat running. So this might actually be a pretty nice place, uh, relatively safe at least to to do mining. Um, where you're still out in space, so you don't have to worry about gravity and fuel burn and all that kind of stuff. Um, make sure to wear your helmet, of course, if you have to uh, to get out and, and do any sort of modifications. Um, but I think this is actually going to work pretty nicely. It's uh, it's um, may become my, my new favorite spot uh, to do asteroid mining, if I can find some stuff that's actually got some good content in it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll pick up as soon as we hit the refinery. Okay, so I had it down to the refinery. Um, a nice thing that I did realize, I guess, kind of looking at the uh, the distribution on those saddlebags. You know, if we've got 15 SCU of Grecium and about 18 of 
or 15, 15 of, of terranite and 18 of agrisium. Um, essentially what that means is that the extra storage space from the mole um, saddlebags means that we can afford to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra junk um, whether that's copper or any other of the different materials and we can still get what is essentially a full prospector load of refinable materials so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll turn on terranite copper and grecium and pull this over and we're gonna take a look at dink solventation actually I'm gonna go fair and exchange um, because I know we've only got uh, only got a little while until the next uh, next patch drops. Probably going to be uh, actually might even be by, might even be today. Um, so I'm just going to get this one so that we can actually get uh, get this refined quickly. Um, and this is going to give us uh, 15 SCU refined of Terranite. Now there's no there's no you know debuff or anything here. Um, current capacity. Whew. Um, so, and then we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get seventeen SCU, right? Almost eighteen SCU of agrisium and nine of copper. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll hit confirm. Just I'm gonna check this. We'll just check and see. Yeah, the yields the yields are gonna be the same. That's going to be 46 hours, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to have that long. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit confirm here. That's going to cost me 20 grand uh, to get that one processing. I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull up the, uh, pull up my mining spreadsheet here, and those are available. Um, Red Monster uh, has got a decent, uh, decent spreadsheet on these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull those up and my calculator, and we'll take a look and see what we can expect from this. Okay, so I've got the got the spreadsheet pulled up over on my uh, on my other screen here, and uh, looking at these numbers, so we've got uh, 1577 of terranite. So I'm going to go ahead, and we've got uh, 78.4 times 1577, and we're looking at 123,000 refined of terranite. Then we'll go ahead and we'll look at the agrisium, and that one's going for uh, 28.33, so 28.33 times 17.63, and we're looking at another 50,000 round numbers or so uh, for the agrisium, and then we've got 901 of the copper, and copper currently is going for 4.08 refined, so as I said, just about worthless times 901 and we're looking at about 3600 for that. So all told you're still looking at pretty close to 200,000 uh, from that load of terranite, agrisium and copper. Um, with uh, you know fully fully refined um, we'll take out of course the uh, the 20,000 for refining and you're still looking at you know the best part of 170,000 or so. Uh, for that load refined, so the uh, the addition of the mole saddlebags makes it uh, makes it quite powerful to be able to do that, and um, I think makes it quite possible to make 150 to 200 thousand an hour uh, with a prospector. So, uh, if you like this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and uh, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.